Hey everybody, this is Chris again. Um, coming at you. Picked up this little puppy the other day. This GSG 522SD. Uh, it came, I got it on arms list like I do most of my guns. Um, I like arms list just for the fact that, you know, you any anything, you might be able to get a good deal from somebody. Somebody might be going through financial issues and they need to get rid of their guns in order to help pay their bills. I uh, took uh, helped a guy out when uh, bought an FN um, uh, FNP forty five by a thousand dollar pistol. Um, well, they have the thousand dollar version of it. I, I'm, I think mine is more like the seven hundred dollar version of it, but I got it for six hundred dollars. Um, but I had one of these GSG twenty twos a while back and. I literally loved it. My daughter shot it. She was great with it. And I ended up buying a SIG 556R. Um, the SIG 556R, you know, it was an expensive gun. I had several guns I didn't shoot. I also had a Tech 9. And what was the other? Oh, I had a DPMS AR 15. But none of them, you know, the DPMS was. I mean, it was it was it was in pretty bad shape, and I ended up trading it and this GSG, um, and the guy did me pretty well. He gave me like six hundred bucks for the the DPMS, and gave me uh, three hundred dollars for my GSG, and then he gave me about I want to say three hundred dollars for the uh, the Tech Nine, and then I just gave me straight up the um, the Sig five five six R. Uh, as tra uh, instead of giving me cash, he gave me that in trade and gave me a hundred dollar bill, and he wanted eleven hundred dollars for the Sig five five six R. So I think I did pretty well uh, overall. These come with twenty two round clips. Um, I had one a while back, like I said. Whenever I traded it, I always missed it. Me and my dad would go to the to, to go to the range and we'd shoot this gun, and this is about as much fun as you can have for three hundred fifty bucks. And literally, you can almost rock and roll with these, uh, with these uh, 22 caliber shells. I mean, just boom, 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 and literally put groupings like that. I mean, it's it's unbelievable how how well this thing does. Um, the guy before me, he's trying to make it into a pre lawsuit uh, H&K version, and he did a really good job. Um, he 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 switched out this this trigger grouping. All the guts, of course, come out of this one, and he put in this one and, and just switched it out. And he had the push in stock that came in here with with the conversion kit. I mean, he did a great job on it. It had like um, I want to say these are like eighty dollar conversion kits, and he or fifty dollars maybe a conversion kit, and he got it for like seventeen dollars, but. I, I'm a big guy. I'm six one, two hundred and about seventy pounds, and that push in stock just did not come back far enough for me. Um, and it felt awkward whenever I tried to shoot it. So I went ahead and uh, put back on the old stock that I was accustomed to. He did change out also the uh, the handle on it. I mean, it's it's not the old cheap handle that GSG had. He switched out the sight basically. All of this area here, he switched it out. And that's part of this parts kit. Basically, it was that right there that he swapped out. Um, I mean, there's several different things that, that he was able to do. This this also comes, um, I mean, it doesn't come with. You have to, of course, purchase it. But it, you can purchase a 110-round uh, drum for it. And you go online and uh, go on YouTube, of course, you can see people, I mean, they... they put this thing at full rock and roll and man it just looks sweet um i i'm not too big of a fan of uh 22 rifles i say i'm not but i love every, every i love every time i go shoot them so you know i probably wouldn't you know I, you know i say i probably wouldn't grab something like this to defend my home with but i'll tell you what if you can put a grouping like that and put you know 22 rounds in a hole that big you know it's <laughs> you know it's pretty I, I, I take my uh, chances on uh 
you know, killing somebody if they broke into my house. But I really love the GSG. Um, the feed ramp on the inside here, you can't see that. It's a little bit too dark. But the, the nipple on it, because basically it's a little, it's literally a little nipple that, that feeds up the uh, the shell into there. And it, it almost pinches the shell and forces it up. But it it's really hard. I mean, it's it, uh, people I've heard have had problems having it, the, the shell actually feed correctly. Um, I've never had that issue. I shoot cheap uh, uh, Remington... Uh, Walmart brand shells. I mean the 525 pack. The first, the only problem I had was the very first time I went out and shot it. I did have one failure to fire, and uh, I I, pull, I ejected it, threw it, uh, pulled out the clip. I mean, ever since then I've I put about a thousand rounds through it without any failures to feed or anything. I I have uh, I do clean it out every shooting. Um, one thing I found out. Uh, nobody ever told me this. Of course, I'm fairly new to to starting to you know actually collect guns. But anytime I clean, I, you know, I'd like to get up in here and you know do, you know do the do the full cleaning on it. But I use Q-tips on mine. Um, I haven't heard any any complaints from people saying hey you shouldn't do that. But I mean I I like using Q-tips. They get all in the you know cracks and crevices. It, you know, whenever you even break down your guns and pull retainer pins and everything else, you can get down inside the, the trigger access, how, the housing and everything else inside the receiver and stuff. So let me know what you think. Uh, I love my GSG 522. Um, I always have. My daughter loves to shoot it. She also has a Rossi 22 long rifle. But I think she feels more. She, I mean, she she likes this one better. She feels more comfortable with a Rossi, but this one at least she can. Uh, she can shoot more than one bullet at a time, but I have to I have to stand behind her and hold help her hold the rifle because she's only eight, and I want to make sure you know the reason why I got the Rossi is because if she, if she dropped the gun or whatever, I wanted to make sure that you know another round wouldn't charge or anything else, and she would be okay. So. Anytime she shoots this gun, I have to stand behind her and help her hold it because I don't want any type of screw ups. But let me let me know what you think, guys. Uh, it is a the guy did also put a Picatinny rail on here. He went inside and actually drilled down and put set pins in here. And um, I haven't put a mono grip on there yet, but I'm thinking about doing it. But let me know what you think. I keep saying that, but let me know what you think, and uh, we will. We'll, yeah, get, let me know um, on, on comments or whatnot, and I will uh, reply back to them as soon as I get any. Thank you so much. Have a good day, and God bless. Bye-bye.